In this video, I am going to show you how to update the firmware and the software for an Atomos Ninja 5. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the menu and then check under info what firmware setting I am currently on. And as we can see here, I am currently on version 10.76. Now, it's worth checking this just so that you know after you have done a firmware and software update that it has indeed changed from the previous version. Now, what I'm going to do is to disconnect the SSD from the Ninja 5 and connect this to my computer in order to be able to download the firmware file to the computer and then transfer it to the SSD. It is also worth noting that you will need at least 200 megabytes worth of available free space on your Ninja 5 SSD. And the way that I am going to connect my Ninja 5's SSD to my computer is with this cable adapter by Cable Matters. One end of the cable has got a SATA power and data connection on it, and the other end of the cable has got a USB-C connection on it, which is going to be compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and 4 because I'm using a Mac. And we just connect the SATA end of the cable to the SATA ports on the Ninja 5's SSD, and then just connect the USB-C end of the cable to the computer. So I am now onto the desktop of my computer, and as we can see here, there is the SSD from my Ninja 5. Now I'm going to go to the Atomos website. So I am now on the product support page on the Atomos website. There will be a link to this page in the video description below. And as we can see here, I have got Ninja highlighted, so just make sure you've got Ninja highlighted as the option. Then as we come down here, we can see it's going to tell us about the firmware version. Now at the moment, there is firmware 10.80.00 available. So I'm going to download that. So all we do is just come along to where it says download firmware update. Click on that and then that will start downloading. Once the firmware has downloaded, just go to your downloads location on your computer. For me, my location is actually in downloads. Now once in downloads, we are going to see a file that's gonna look like this. The name of the file might be slightly different for you because it may have a different number on the end depending upon when you download the firmware file. Nonetheless, what we need to do here is unzip that file. So I'm just gonna unzip that file and then it will create this file here, atomnjv.fw. That is the firmware file that we need. Now, if you are on a Mac or any computer which unpacks a zip file automatically, you will see this file nonetheless. So the next thing to do now is to open up the drive for the Atomos Ninja 5. And then what we'll need to do here is just simply drag this .fw file over to the drive for the Ninja 5, but make sure it goes into the root of the Ninja 5's SSD. Do not put it into a subfolder. So I'm just gonna drag that over now. And as we can see, there is the firmware file now on the root of my SSD for my Ninja 5. I am now going to disconnect the SSD for the Ninja 5 from this computer and connect it back to the Ninja 5. So now that I have got the firmware and software file stored to the root of my SSD for the Ninja 5, I am now going to reconnect the SSD to the Ninja 5. However, two things here. I have got my Ninja 5 powered off, so I'm going to power it on with the SSD drive attached to it. And also as well, I would strongly recommend that you power your Ninja 5 with the power adapter that came with it. This will just ensure that you do not lose power during the firmware and software update. So what I'm gonna do here is just connect the SSD first. And now I'm just going to power on the Ninja 5. Okay, so whilst it's powering on there, as we will see, it will catch that firmware file. So we can clearly see on the screen there, it is saying updating firmware, do not remove power or media. Now I'm just gonna go through this and speed through it and I will let you know roughly how long this has taken. Okay, so that firmware file took about a minute to install. The Ninja 5 has switched itself off. 
So I'm now just going to switch it back on again. Okay, so with the Ninja 5 now switched back on, I am going to go to the menu. And then in the menu, I am going to go to Info. And there we go. And as we can see there, the Ninja 5 has indeed updated to version 10.80.0 of the firmware and software, which obviously matches the firmware that was downloaded. Now, the version of the firmware and software file that you download may well be a different one to this one. And that's just because the Ninja 5 is being constantly updated with new firmware versions and software. If this video has been useful to you, please do give us a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on that bell notification icon for a notification of similar videos in the future. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.